Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2012 Grade 11-12 Contest, Question 17. This question is about mathematically correct conclusions, not whether parts of the following statements are true on their own or not. Which of the following conclusions was not performed correctly? So, let's take a look at statement A. We know that 3 times 4 equals 2 times 6. From this alone, we cannot conclude that 3 is a factor of 2, or of 6, or of both. So, the opposite statement of A would be that we, that we can conclude that 3 is a factor of 2, or of 6, or of both. So, here is a counterexample of the opposite statement. So as you can see, 6 times 6 is 36, and 4 times 9 is 36, so this is correct. And 6 would be a factor of this product, which is 36, but 6 is not a factor of 4 or 9. So we know statement A is false. Now let's look at statement B. We know 6 times 6 equals 36. Because 2 is a factor of 6, Therefore, 2 times 2 must be a factor of 36. Well, we know there is one factor of 2 in the prime factorization of 6. So if there, is, if there are two 6s, that means there must be two 2s. So statement B is correct. Now, let's look at statement C. If 6 would be a multiple of 4, then 3 times 6 equals 18 must be a multiple of 4. Well, if 4 would be a factor of 6, then 4 would have to be a factor of any multiple of 6. So statement C is correct. So let's look at statement D. Because 4 times 5 equals 20, and because 2 divides 20, therefore 2 must be a factor of 4 or a factor of 5 or both. So instead of using 2, we will use 20. So we know 20 divides 20, but 20 would not be a factor of 4 or 5. So, statement B would be false. It would also be false because statement A is the exact opposite of statement D, and statement A was correct, so statement B, or statement D must be false. Now, let's look at statement E. 4 divides 24, and 3 divides 24. But that alone is not enough to conclude that 4 times 3 equals 12 divides 24. Well, this is correct, because if we take two higher numbers, like 8, which divides 24, and 12, which divides 24, when you multiply them together, you would have 8 times 12 is 96, which is not a factor of 24. So statement E would be correct because it says that alone is not enough to conclude that 4 times 3 is 12 divides 24. So let's look at statement F. Because 2 is a factor of 6, and 6 is a factor of 30, 2 must be a factor of 30. Well, statement F has the exact same concept as statement C. So, if 2 is a factor of 6, then 2 must be a factor of any multiple of 6, which is in this case 30. So, statement F would be correct. Now, let's look at statement G. If 11 and 13 have no common factor greater than 1, then their smallest common multiple is equal to the product of both these numbers. It is well known that the product of any two numbers is equal to the product of their greatest common factor and their lowest common multiple. So, this line will basically sum up the past statement. So in this example, we will use 4 and 6, but you can use any, num any two numbers you like. Okay. 
So the greatest common factor of 4 and 6 would be 2. And the lowest common multiple of A and B, which is 4 and 6, would be 12. Because four, 3 times 4 would be 12, and 2 times 6 would be 12. So as you can see, 4 times 6 is 24, and 2 times 12 is 24. Well, if the greatest common factor wasn't 2, but was 1, that means that the product would have to be just 1 times the lowest common multiple, which means that the lowest common multiple would just have to be the product of A and B. So that means that statement G is correct. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.